What if I told you that there was a web browser that was beautiful to look at, has all the Chrome extensions, has split view, keyboard shortcuts, previews, a dedicated command bar, a mini player for videos, live capture, and even spaces where you can store information for projects you are working on. That is not even everything that you can do with this web browser Arc. And in this video, I'm going to give you the 10 reasons why I switched to using Arc as my main web browser and why I think you should switch as well. Real quick before we start, if you're new here, my name is Daniel Languish. This channel, I talk about tech, digital organization, a lot of Apple products, including uh, Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, uh, wide range of things. And so if you're new here, glad to have you. If you are returning a subscriber, uh, it's been a while since I've posted it, but I could not be more excited to be back because today we are talking about this new web browser coming out called Arc. Now I am pretty picky about what I want in my web browser, but boy oh boy does Arc check off a lot of those boxes. Uh, I really think this is my favorite web browser to date. And let's jump into those 10 reasons why, starting with number one. Now, one of the reasons I really wanted to stick with Safari on my Mac was because it's just such a clean interface. The UI just looks really nice. And I really enjoy that. That's an important part of a web browser for me. But I have to say, Arc might be the first web browser that takes that to another level. Let's open up Arc here. And the first thing that you will notice is that all of your tabs and the, the search bar and all that is on the left hand side of the screen. So that's a little bit of a change from maybe what you're accustomed to. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But here's why this is really sweet. Let's go, let's just go to their website, Arc Browser website. And here we go. So you'll see, first of all, this gives you more vertical space when you are uh, browsing the web, which is really nice. But where this gets even better is you can actually hide this tab on the left hand of the screen. I hit Command S, and we hidden, and you'll look. Now when you're browsing the web, you have a beautiful full screen when browsing the web. I mean, doesn't this just look fantastic? You have the entire screen that you're working with. Uh, whereas normally a web browser, right, has all your tabs, everything on the top. If I want that stuff, I just go to the left here and it pops open. I've got all my stuff here. Uh, but I just love the UI here. I mean, it just, even tabs just look gorgeous. Uh, I love the full screen. It really has been an incredible way of browsing the web. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. No web browser has delivered such a nice full screen experience and kudos to Arc for really nailing that. So that's the first reason. Now let's jump to number two. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I loved Safari, but the thing that just absolutely killed Safari for me was the lack of Chrome extensions. Uh, Safari has some extensions, but it's nowhere near the level of extensions that Chrome has. And, and I use certain extensions that are essential. Well, Arc has every Chrome extension. Uh, it works with all of your Chrome extensions. Uh, you'll see here, I use some extensions, like I use 1Password for my password manager. I use Matter for uh, saving articles and stuff like that. I mean, all of the Chrome extensions that you know and love, they work here in Arc, and that is huge. Let's jump to number three. Now this is where Arc starts to really set itself apart because in most web browsers, in my experience, if I want to have two uh, pages open at once, kind of side by side on my desktop, I have to create two separate windows of that web browser. And it works fine and all that, but check out what Arc can do. So Arc has this thing called split view where if I've got a page here and I wanna have another tab right next to it, it's super easy. So let's go over here and grab another tab that I have and I can literally just drag and drag it to one of these sides and you'll see it automatically goes into a split view. And this has a few advantages that I think are key. Uh, the first one is if you would normally have two windows side by side, 
you would have to click first on the other window before you can actually click on a button to interact with it. You have to kind of make it the active window. But this is all one active window. So I can click here, and then I can come over here, and I can click here. Uh, I don't have to click on the page first. So interacting between two pages is just absolutely seamless. And of course, you can you know resize and all that stuff. Um, but there's another really cool aspect of this is these two pages now are a tab that I have in my sidebar. So I could have multiple instances of these shared pages and switch between them. And then, you know, once I'm done with one of these pages, I could hit the X and now this is back to full screen. Split view is something that I never thought I'd want, but man, oh man, is it sweet. Now let's jump to number four. The awesome thing about Arc is it has every keyboard shortcut that you know and love from your other web browsers. Uh, they all work, but what's really cool about them is that they are actually all customizable. So uh, I've the keyboard shortcuts that uh, I'm using, I'm not using every single one, but there's a few that I use a lot. Uh, the first one is honestly uh, switching between tabs. I hit control tab and Arc's got kind of a cool tab management here is when you hit control tab, it'll pop up this little tab manager here that I can actually switch between any of my active tabs or I can just hit control tab and it'll go to the next one and I can switch back and forth just like that. Uh, so control tab is really awesome for switching between my tabs. Let's say I wanna archive my tabs once I'm done using them, I can just hit Command W and that'll archive the tabs that I'm currently using. You can hit Command T for a new tab. You can hit Command S if you wanna switch the sidebar on and off. Uh, they've got everything and like I mentioned, you can remap every single one to how you like. Now let's jump to number five. Now previews are something that I have never seen any other web browser do and it is sick. Check this out. So over here on the sidebar here, you'll notice I've got a few of these uh, things at the top here. I've got uh, Gmail, uh, Google Calendar, uh, even Notion, and there's only a few applications that specifically work with uh, previews. Um, but essentially, you can put something up here. First of all, if it's just something that you want to access quickly, you could just click up there. It's kind of like a, a favorited tab. But with supported apps, it can actually give you a preview of that site. So if we go over here to Google Calendar, I can just hover over it and it'll show my upcoming calendar, which is awesome. If I go to my Gmail, it'll show my newest emails that I've got in my Gmail. If I even go to Notion, it'll show me my most recent Notion pages and then I can just click on it and it'll take me right to that page. Uh, I've never seen this done by anyone before, and it'd be really cool to see if they continue to expand this for more applications, but man, that has a lot of really useful potential, especially for people who are using Google Calendar, uh, Gmail, and Notion. And if you found that tip useful, support the channel. Uh, it's super simple. You can click that like button below. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on my latest content. It's a small thing you can do, but it really means a lot to me and helps the growth of the channel. But let's jump to number six. Now, another cool thing about Arc is it's got a command bar that you can use to access anything. So I hit command L here and you'll notice it's got a search bar and I could search for anything. I could do ESPN, I could search uh, for best web browser. It's even got functions, like you could do archive tab, uh, all sorts of stuff. You can access your extensions, like a one password. Um, it's just a really uh, great way. I even just thought of you can switch between your tabs this way as well. If you know the name of your tab, you could just immediately switch back to it. It's a really great way to navigate your web browser. Super helpful. Now let's say you're wanting to watch a video, but you're also maybe wanting to work on some other stuff while you're watching that video. Well, Arc is the perfect web browser for that because any video that you watch on the browser, uh, when you switch to another tab or even minimize Arc, it, it will turn the video into 
a mini player. So let me show you how this works. So on, you know, let's say you want to watch uh, your TED Talk here. And so we're going to click uh, this TED Talk here and we'll just skip to the middle of it. But then you want to go over to another tab. I could click new tab and let's go over to YouTube. You'll notice that now I've got this browser or this little video right here and I can move it around. I could put it up here. I can move it back down. It stays here even if I minimize the browser. So I can just drag this all around my screen and I can be working and watching this video. And then when you hover over it, you can click on it and it'll jump you right back to the tab. And I have used that so many times. It's just works so well. I know some other browsers have a way of doing that, but I've never seen it as seamless and elegant as it is here in Arc. And now we're jumping to number eight. Now I'm someone who takes a lot of screenshots when I'm working on the web, whether it's for videos, for a research project, and Arc just makes this even better. Because if you go over here to the sidebar, you'll notice up by the search bar, you've got this little camera. And if you click on that, it's gonna give you a little camera, but you'll notice it automatically hovers around what it thinks you're trying to capture. So, you know, it goes like this, it kind of automatically captures things in a really clean and, and perfectly uniform format. And that in and of itself is really awesome. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, do your own custom, you can always click and drag just like that. Uh, but let's go here and let's take a screenshot of Let's go over here and take a screenshot of, we'll say this right here. And then it gives you options. You can save your library, copy, save, you can send it, you can edit, uh, lots of options here. And it just makes taking screenshots while working in the web uh, super easy, super simple. And it's even more awesome with our next tip, number nine. Now easels is something that Arc is doing to almost make Arc a place that you can work on projects and do collaboration stuff. I mean, this is next level stuff, but let me show you how it works. So you head on down here and anywhere you can create a new easel. And so let's create a little easel here and let's just say I'm doing research for this video, you know, Arc Web Browser Review. So now I've got this easel here, and this is basically just an open canvas where you can put anything that you find on the internet easily. And like I mentioned, with live capture, it makes this even better because let's over, let's head over here. Let's go to uh, Arc Web Browser. Uh, let's just uh, go to the company's website. And let's say, you know, I'm scrolling through here and for my research, um, this little section right here is something that I really want. So I could just come over here, click the camera and go right here and I could just drag my own and do, let's say I really like this section here. And, and you'll notice one of the options I have is to either make a new easel or I can save it to one of my existing easels. So I can save this to Arc Web Browser Review and boom, it is automatically in there. I can then immediately, uh, I can move it around. I can add, you know, text. Uh, this is an awesome screenshot. Uh, I can go down here and edit it. I can, you know, do arrows. You can do drawings. I mean, this is just an open canvas where you can store all of your information. I could see for uh, research purposes, uh, maybe if you're, uh, you know, you and your spouse are wanting to do some research on stuff, so collect information all on one thing. And it's great for collaboration because you'll notice down in the bottom right hand corner, you can click this share button and you can share it with another person to where both of you can simultaneously collaborate in the same easel. I can think of so many instances where this would be really helpful and awesome that they've made this available in Arc. Now the last box that Arc checks is when it comes to privacy. And this is something that really is controversial with certain web browsers. And it's good to see Arc uh, really be proactive on 
this front. So ARC on their page kind of gives three main things uh, that they uh, prioritize with your privacy when using this web browser. Uh, the first one is they don't know which websites you visit. So the, they don't have, it says, we have no idea you spend 12 hours on Twitter every day. No judgment. Uh, second one is we don't see what you type into the web browser. They can't even see what you're searching or anything like that. And then finally, and this might be the most important one, we don't sell your data to third parties. Uh, obviously, that is uh, the big con of certain web browsers, cough, cough, Google Chrome, uh, is you know your data is being sold uh, by Google. And so really cool to see that they uh, put this initiative. You know, I, I don't know how robust of a privacy policy this is, but I just appreciate uh, their upfrontness with it. And uh, especially when other web browsers clearly don't have this kind of prioritization. And that, my friends, is why Arc is the web browser that you should use. Uh, I hope any of these 10 things uh, were like, whoa, that's really cool. I know I felt that way when I first started using it and it's only gotten better sense. I've got a link below if you want to go uh, check it out for yourself. And this actually isn't the only web browser that I've reviewed. I actually did a review of the web browser Brave, which is a really interesting web browser. Uh, you can actually make money while you're browsing the web. You can click on that or it's got another suggested video for you. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in that video.